What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Sonic the Werehog. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. We're gonna start at the very top in the middle. We're just gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now we don't wanna go too dark because we eventually wanna erase this out. Now I'm gonna add another line going across from left to right. So we're gonna start right in the middle of our page. Let's move this out toward the left and then the right. Now you use these guidelines to help us create a circle. So from the center, let's go all the way up towards the top. It's gonna to mark off the top of our circle. Let's take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna repeat that process across this horizontal line, taking this distance over towards the left and marking that off, and then moving over towards the right and doing the same thing. Now to create our circle, all we need to do is connect each of these marks with a curve. So we'll start with the top left, just work our way around. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna get the right size and basic shape going around. We can always go back and just readjust the shape, just smoothing it out. Let's add another set of guidelines coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left side, coming down, do the same thing on the right. Now from here, we start blocking out the basic shape of the facial features. Let's start right along the bottom and sketch out a smaller circle. We go all the way around and then back down. Just roughing this in. Along the top side of our circle, curve the muzzle coming down and up. Let's round out the cheeks, coming around and back in. Now along the top, let's sketch a small circle for the nose and I'll just lightly shade that in. Now I'm going to open up the corners of the mouth to expose the teeth. On the bottom right, curve this up and out and then we'll do the same thing on the right, aiming towards the cheeks. Round this out and just tuck that back in along the side. Now let's move up and add some shape to the brow. From the top of the muzzle, curve this out and then up toward the left and right. Bend this up and out toward the side of our circle. Let's round out the side of the eye. On the left side, we're going to step in, round this out, pull that in on top of the muzzle. And now I pull the iris and pupil towards the inside, starting on the top left of the brow, draw a half oval coming down and then up. And I'll line that up on the right side. Now I'm gonna follow the side of the circle going up above the brow. Now I'm just bend that back in to enhance the fold of the brow. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up and then bending that back in. Let's add a bump along the top of the head. Starting from the top of the brow, go up in towards the middle. Let's round this out and come back down on the right side. And then along the top, we're gonna to curl around the ears, starting on the left, bend this down, and then up towards the tip. Now I just wanna line that up on the right side, going up towards the same height. And then from the tip of the ear, bend this around and back in towards the side of the head. Let's add two spikes along the top of the head, starting from the side of the ear, then bend this out and then down towards that center line. And we'll line that up on the right and do the same thing. And then from the tip, bend this up and then back down towards the side of the head. Let's add another set of spikes. Starting from the side of the head, bend this out and then down. And we'll pull this up and in underneath the chin. Now we just want to draw on the top of the shoulders, going out and then down. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. And now that we have our clean drawing, let's go in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details and refining the shape. Let's start with the nose. I'm just gonna trace out the outside of the nose. 
Is that a small highlight circle on the top left? And I'll darken up the nose on the right side and just fade that up towards that highlight. Just blend that in. And then from here, it's gonna trace out the muzzle. Again, just refining the shape as we go. Just gonna pull the cheeks up a little bit higher on the side. And we'll round that out. Add a fang on either side. We're going to darken up the inside of the mouth around those fangs. And the chin coming down, just adding a little bit more shape. Now I'll move up and add some more shape to the brow. Let's trace the iris along the inside for the pupil. Add a small highlight circle on the bottom left. And we'll darken up the inside of the pupil going around that highlight. Now we're going to darken up the top of the iris and just fade that down towards the bottom. Now from here I'm going to use the side edge of my pencil and add a fur texture across the side of the head going around the eyes and just pulling that in towards the brow. And then from the center of the brow, I'm just going to work our way up and out. I'm just going to add some shadows across the bottom of the brow and just fade that up. Just darken up the underside of the eye and then just blend that out towards the side. And then with the tip of our pencil, we're just going to refine the texture just adding some fur going up and out on top of the eye. And across the brow. I'm just going to bend that down towards the side. And just darken up the edge of the fur.
go back and add a shadow underneath the eyes, across the top of the muzzle. Now we're going to move up and add some detail to the ears. So starting with the top edge, just working our way along the side. Again, just adding a little bit of fur texture coming down and in. Just going to add a guide for the inside edge of the ear. Bring that down. And we'll darken up the inside of the ear using the side edge of our pencil. And I'm just going to fade that out towards the side and the top. Go back, just raise. I'm gonna go back and just raise the center of the head a little bit higher, and it'll fill the inside of the head with some fur texture. Just roughing this in, we can come back and add some more details after. And using the tip of our pencil, I'm just gonna add some more fur texture. I'm going to use the side edge of my pencil to add a little bit more shadow on the right side of the head. I'm just going to blend this up towards the top and the ears. Adding a little bit more shadow on top of the left brow. And move out and start adding some texture to those spikes. Just roughing in the texture and the shape. Just curving around and down towards the sides. And you just want to get the fill at this stage. Go back and darken up the bottom of the spikes and just blend that up and then out towards the side. I'm just pulling the shadows from the head. Now I'll go back with the tip of our pencil and add some fur texture.
that shadow underneath the head on top of the body. Now as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll enhance the contrast and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Sonic the Werehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.